Let's get some more insight into those ongoing discussions. We're joined by Catherine Irura. She's a managing director at Sowitech, which is an on-grid company developing grid-scale solar and wind projects in Kenya, Zambia, and also Zimbabwe. Great to have you uh, on the show with us today, Catherine. Now, this year, uh, we know developing uh, areas such as mining, green hydrogen, they seem to be top on the agenda at the Africa Energy Forum. Talk to us about how stakeholders there are framing what Africa's energy mix could look like uh, going forward, especially across Africa's very diverse contexts. Yeah, thank you very much, Uche, for this opportunity. Well, you're quite right. Uh, Africa has vast uh, renewable energy potential. When you look at the profile for solar power development, we have almost 10 terawatt uh, of solar and more than 10 gigawatt of, of wind, for example, 110 gigawatt of wind uh, capacity available for green hydrogen production. Kenya alone, uh, we have vast untapped uh, geothermal potential, al almost 10 gigawatt. Uh, so this renewable electricity is what uh, will unlock green hydrogen production in Kenya. We are also seeing this demand coming from the global north. Uh, because of the constraints they have with their own generation capacity, they will need uh, green hydrogen derivatives for their markets. And they're looking at green ammonia, uh, green methanol, and liquefied hydrogen uh, being exported to markets in, in Europe, and other countries in the global north to meet their demand. Obviously, these countries have uh, decarbonization targets, and that's why they will be needing hydrogen from Africa. So we, we stand uh, a good chance as a continent because of our renewable energy potential and generation capacity. Mm, quite right, Catherine. And I just want to talk a little bit more about green hydrogen because uh, it has become one of the leading uh, topics today. Uh, yet it's not something uh, that we've talked about a lot on the continent uh, before. We know Africa has huge potential uh, when we talk about uh, its renewable energy potential in this area, given, of course, our, our large amount of minerals. But what is your view on its potential and opportunities uh, uh, when it comes to large scale green hydrogen projects on the continent going? forward? I think there is immense potential. We have seen, for example, in Namibia, already there are projects uh, of a scale of two gigawatt uh, electrolysis capacity that have been announced for ammonia production, targeting both the regional and global markets. And we've seen this also in the announcements in Egypt during the previous COP, uh, Tunisia, Morocco, all the countries in the north that are looking to export uh, hydrogen to markets in, in Europe particularly. And the EU has created the H2 global platform and they've been announcing auctions for green hydrogen derivatives such as methanol and green ammonia. So we, we are seeing a shift in the relations between the global north and south uh, because of the capacities that we have here for local production and it also has uh, in, in terms of scale also the industries that can be created in the in in the continent when you look at fertilizer production for example in kenya already we have seen uh, projects of 300 megawatt electrolysis capacity uh, there's a separate project for 200,000 tons uh, per annum uh, production, which substitutes almost 25% of our imports. So we'll see this increasingly in other markets as well in South Southern Africa, where they have also announced um, uh, funding for green hydrogen projects. So th this has also potential to create jobs um, and other industries related to renewable energy expansion. Uh, like strengthening of the grid, for example, improving transmission. And we also have had in the previous clip that we are trying to, as a continent, to improve our electricity trade mm. uh, and building this interconnector so that you can trade in, in renewable electricity. So all these factors will, will play a big role in rolling out of 
large scale renewable energy projects because mm -hmm. in in water scarce areas for example you could be able to export those the electricity for electrolysis and and production All right yeah. And your company, mm -hmm. uh, Catherine, Soitech uh, Kenya, uh, it actually mm -hmm. develops uh, grid-scale solar and wind projects uh, here in yes. Kenya. Now, we know stakeholders uh, at this year's Energy Forum are discussing forming new partnerships, advancing uh, projects currently on the ground. What are some of the developments coming out of this event as a stakeholder for you uh, with regards to what these partnerships will look like uh, uh, going forward? Yes, we, we see a lot of uh, investors interested in, in Kenya as a market, our market for PV and wind uh, particularly. Uh, and this is exciting for us uh, because hydrogen particularly unlocks uh, captive power projects, which uh, typically are used uh, in, in green hydrogen production. You could use wind, uh, you could use solar, even geothermal as sources of electricity for green hydrogen production. So there's a lot of interest there. We're also seeing an interest with the financiers. When you look at um, KFW, uh, DEG, the European Investment Bank, the Africa Development Bank, they're coming up with innovative uh, financing tools, uh, grants to de-risk uh, hydrogen projects uh, and uh, concessional loans. And we, we are quite interested in this. There are also opportunities uh, under the mitigation action uh, facility and the UNFCCC, the U United Nations uh, Framework Convention on Climate Change. And we are seeing increasing interest from the financiers to come up with the innovative financing instruments for to de risk green hydrogen projects. So that growing importance for making project, these projects work, at least the first mover projects in the continent, uh, is, is really coming into the forefront. And, and we are appreciative of that because we see in the near term, like in the next three to five years, we'll see green hydrogen demonstration projects being launched and um, concerted uh, effort in African countries to have more green hydrogen strategies having the right uh, regulatory framework and institutional frameworks in place mm. so that investors can feel comfortable in entering these markets. Right.